Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try My Name's Retromation. This is Anomaly Collapse, a turn-based tactics strategy roguelite that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today. Let's pop on in and see what the game is all about. In we shall go to Old Town. A man in an agent uniform stands on a high-rise rooftop overlooking the chaotic city. There are massive fungi everywhere. Have things really deteriorated so much? The man's name is Glitch an elite agent of the Anomaly Reaction Association, sent as part of an advanced party to deal with the crisis in Epsilon. His mission was to escort the engineering team around the city so they can install neutralizers. However, they were attacked by a massive creature midway there, and in the chaos, he got separated from the group. The last neutralizer seems to have been stationary for a long time. Was it installed? Got a bad feeling. These bizarre fungi are still growing. I need to hurry up and rendezvous with the others. Let's move. He didn't mention he was a fox. He's, he said he's a man? Okay, check it out. There's something over there. Click on the node and initiate the encounter. All right. Ooh, I like this. I like this style back here. It's really nice. Exterminate all hostiles. Hello there. A bizarre hostile is coming this way. Watch for the red grid beneath it and the line coming out of it. They indicate an attack intent next turn. When it's a character's turn, you can give them orders like moving, using skills, or taking a rest. Each order has a cost. It'll either be MP or AP. Plan the moves wisely. So MP being movement points. Okay. Basic skill deals 7 plus strength and tech damage to the target. No cooldown. Gain an AP if you have not moved or used the skill, but end your turn. So it seems like we should do this. Do we have the ability to do that and then move? Seems it, but we have to move forward only. Oh no, that's just the end of the grid here. Gotcha. Oh, I love a 2D tactics grid. So can we uh we can do standby? Like a um god, what was the one we played recently? Oops, sorry. Like a shogun showdown? I always think of Battlecon, the board game. I, that's I know it's not like a super well-known reference, but hey. If a turn ends with any AP remaining, it'll be carried over into the next turn. Characters gain 1 AP at the beginning of each turn. If you do nothing other than rest in a turn, you will gain an extra AP at the end of this turn. Try saving up a pool of AP to pulverize hostiles in one go. But like... But like... Why would I want to do that right now when we could just kill? Question mark? Seems... Seems like that is bad advice. <laughs> Loot selection. Tech plus one acquired skill treacherous strike. Uh, acquired trait balance. Gain one AP if you have less than three AP at the beginning of a turn. Lose one if you have more. Ooh. Active. Tech plus one. Strength plus one. We do know that uh, our basic attack has the... Uh, Strength plus plus. I'm assuming that means like one strength up is like two damage up. That's my guess of what that would mean. Charge towards the target and deal seven strength damage. Let's do it. Occam's Razor. Okay, push on. You just captured an abnormality. Abnormalities come in active and passive types. ARA wants them contained, but well, survival outweighs rules. Rules are to be broken when survival's at stake. Head to the character profile and equip the abnormalities that you just found. Here you can find each character's stats and equip or swap abnormalities. Gotcha, so we got a new active. Abnormalities, okay. Short charge, that's the one we just got there, right? Yeah. Gotcha. This is a really nice UI for this. Like, in a way, it's like a little bit maximalist, but it's also like it's very thematically appropriate for kind of what they're going for. It's interesting. What's waiting around the corner? You never know. I'm going to guess a uh, new unit. A woman in... It's a lamb! In physician's garb comes into view, accompanied by a medical drone. Hello, I'm Mira. Physician here in Epsilon. Is that an ARA uniform? You here to handle the situation? Yeah, my name's Glitch. Don't worry. The association will set everything right. Meanwhile, Mira, I suppose you need a safer place. No, just let me join your mission. I can't stand by and watch Epsilon in danger. I wish it was just Epsilon. Epsilon feels funky to say. I understand how you feel, but it's perilous ahead. Thanks you. I'm a... <laughs> Thanks you. I'm a skilled mart... <laughs> I messed myself up, man. I'm skilled in healing and speaking. I can definitely help. 
I can't officially involve civilians in this operation, but given the severity of the situation, I have to use every resource available to me. In that case, welcome aboard. That's like some- that was some inner monologue? Gotcha. Our goal is to rendezvous with the advance party. The upcoming battles will be treacherous, so please stay safe. Got it, I'll stay close. Mira has joined your team. What do you have? Anesthetic shock. Deal five damage to the target and grant, excuse me, indirect damage taken plus two. All right, wild. What is this thing? When one character attacks, teammates in the same grid chime in. Make use of co-op attacks to maximize damage. Having too many units in the same grid will make it crowded. Everyone takes a penalty when that happens, so be careful. So we are... What the heck? So are we not crowded? I thought I saw the words crowded. Select any unit to view their details, including their traits and intent. I'm not going for the slash. Could I have cho chosen her first? I'm assuming... Yeah, no, we got a turn order here. Theoretically, we should move out. Right. Stand by. AP pool is shared among all team members. If someone has nothing better to do for now, consider saving the AP for others. I mean, we could just do this when we get the help. We can also see how... Wow! The Okay, that is a co-op attack. It's actually better. Because you get the plus two damage. That's really nice. I like the format a lot right now. Like, a lot right now. Okay. Got some normal RPG stuff. Select the technique Swirlwind. Swirlwind! We can also re-roll it. Gotcha. Recall the forgotten technique. To all targets within range in an impact area. Oh, aim area there. Impact area. Whoop, whoop. Oh, it's on you. Aim area is on you. Impact area. I mean, that's what I thought it was originally, but this confused me more than it helped me until I get it now. Okay. Um... Do I care? Sure. We don't have any kind of AoE technique yet, so... Healing shot, I don't want to reroll that. HP, heal 6 HP, support, and mind. For friendly targets, apply thriving for 2 turns. Each reduces the next healing value... by 1, down to 2 points. Gotcha. So we can't stall with it. Recover HP at the beginning of each turn. Co-op response range also goes up by 1. That's really cool! That's a really cool little thing right there. Explosive barrel. I wonder what you're going to teach me. Hit it, right? <laughs> Why do they run like old men? While in combat, you can interact with objects that are special orders like pushing an oil barrel. Explore what you can do with them. I bet you I could push them. Pushable oil spill generates it. I love this. It's just like... It may seem overly detailed, but this is in a tactics game. You want this stuff, right? You know? Just one second. All right. Whoop. I think we might as well stand by. So what do we got here exactly? Can I... Burning grid... Oh, it shows down here. Okay, so we can still see. Grid will get two stacks of burning at the end of the turn. Uh, sure, but I want to know what burning is exactly. I'm assuming it's damage. Is there a way that I can figure out how much without, like... Without going to, like, a manual? Yeah, I... We'll figure it out. I just... I wish we could know. I'm gonna assume that you can't get to me. We'll just move back. Move back. And you're standing in fire. One would imagine you die. Go for the move into probably short charge. 
Oh, that makes me go onto that tile. That's the big thing I got to keep in mind. A lot of other games that do this kind of turn-based tactics approach on a one-dimensional grid here. One-dimensional, you know what I mean. Uh, typically, they don't let you occupy the same space as the enemy. That's going to be a big thing to keep in mind, and it seems like it, play it plays around with that mechanic a lot, which I like. It's doing some new stuff in a genre that I don't even feel like is so overrun that you have to feel like you need to do new stuff, so that's nice. They're taking it upon themselves to do new things because they want to, which I love that. It's not like a roguelike deck builder that really needs to super do something interesting to not get yelled at. All right, um, as far as this goes, I think we just move here and we try and stock, uh-oh. Hostile attacks are composed of single target attacks and area attacks. This is a single target, this is an area. Single target does nearest, area does damage to all. Gotcha. All within the grid. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. So this does damage to everybody here. If I move you into this tile, that's going to be a problem. I think let's stockpile some points for a bit. Oh, perfect. We're going to stockpile those points. And the fact that you get to do this now should be really good because we get the follow-up attack and they get bonus damage taken. Ooh, can you not overflow armor? Do I want to corner myself? Oh, so you just did. I didn't see the red tile, so you can attack even if you don't have the red tile. It's fine. We have the armor, so it doesn't really matter in the end. So we can do like a nice little whirlwind. Do you attack both? No. So I'm hoping that the armor is just like going to be replenished each fight. If so, I do really like that in a tactics game to have a small amount of acceptable loss per fight because otherwise it turns into like a game like a war of attrition game and the game becomes the map and less the fights. Boss combat appears when you fill up the investigation bar. Take down the boss to wrap up the current chapter. Glitch, aren't the surrounding fungi becoming more active? I got a bad feeling. Damn, there's an anomalous energy conversion near the neutralizer signal point. If it's not a, just a coincidence, there must be some unique entity or an anomaly cluster moving about there. Maybe even a boss. Are the other advanced party members there too? Not sure. To be honest, I haven't heard from them for a while. Mir, if anything happens, please evacuate. Get to the nearest shelter. I'll buy you some time. Don't worry. No matter what, I'll fight alongside you till the end. You're a strange physician. Don't quite understand why you're so persistent, but I guess you have your reasons, so let's go. Anything else we needed to... Do. I don't think we learned anything else or got anything else. Yeah, so figuring out uh, if enemies just attack while they're on there or if that enemy had an attack back over here and it was just... It's the hostile that ambushed the advance party earlier. Glitch, look at those hostiles. They seem intrigued by that device. Ah, do we have to into the breach defend it? A neutralizer appears to be set up already, but where are the guards? Could it be? Crap! <laughs> We've been spotted by the hostiles. Brace for combat. Roger that. Crap! Oh my. Something bad will happen when it is destroyed. Units adjacent to this can interact, but the result is unknown? can't interact. It takes movement points. So Swirlwind seems like a mistake because it does hit the neutralizer. I'm going to save for when we can get a co-op 
attack. Oh no. This was, I mean, I have a sneak submission. Yeah, you're doing 13 damage. This is not gonna be good no matter what. Oh, you can't even, you spawned in an undodgeable situation. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. That sucks. It feels like we should interact. Hit with sure strike? Something bad will happen when it is destroyed. Units adjacent can interact, but the result is unknown. Well, clearly we should try. The hostile's tough. It'll take more than just our strength to take it down. I've run out of ammo! I could escape on my own if I really wanted to, but there's a civilian here. Can't just abandon her. It'll come down to this. Activate the device. Neutralization, neutralization protocol initiated. Countdown starting. The neutralizer will be able to subdue the hostile in three, two, one. Device has been activated. Wait, something's not right. Ah. Ah. Okay. Wait, where am I? There's an intense flash of light just now. My head's pounding. Glitch has unlocked a new leader trait. First responder. Playable character Mira unlocked. Mira has a new... Okay. Intern. Stray. Oh, I love that, like... That feels very old school. The That whole... They're looking down. And then you click over to them. And I, I really like that. I mean, I'll go for you, because you're the only one I haven't played yet. Action starts button. Not just start. Action starts. Man in riot gear, wielding a heavy hammer, and a large shield wanders alone through the fungus-infested streets. In just one night, the entire old town has turned into this. Who could have had- who could have have done this? Oops. <laughs> What's so that over there? Stray raises his shield, blocking the hostile's ambush. Seizing an opening, he smashes it to the ground with one swing of his hammer. How many of you face now? My arms are getting tired. Starting to get sore. Can't stop and rest now. We need to hurry and get to downtown. Let's pick up the pace. Okay. I'm assuming you don't have anything I need to, uh... Nope. You have an area of effect ability, it looks like. Knock the target back one. Interesting. Hello. Exterminate all hostiles. So if I move it back by one, surely it's attack. Abundance. Ah, if you have four or more AP. Gotcha. What a tough fight. It's the first fight, nor should it be. Strength plus one, tech plus one, valiant charge. Charge towards the target direction, dealing nine damage, increase range damage, grid displace. Max armor. So that's like the kind of acceptable loss stuff. Generate a safe house encounter. It can be used outside of combat. I mean, this seems good. It's also a two star anomaly. So that seems like something. something worth thinking about. Not far away, a man wielding a peculiar du dual-bladed sword swiftly slays the hostiles beneath him. He notices a stray approaching and, with a hint of surprise, eyes him cautiously. You have weapons? You don't look like ordinary citizens. Stray introduces the current situation and explains the purpose in being there. Glitch is initially skeptical, but eventually lowers his guard. I'm Glitch, an agent of the Anomaly Re Reaction Association. I apologize if I seem hostile just now. Professional habit, I'm afraid. I see you're also heading downtown to address the crisis. 
seem to share the same goal. I specialize in close combat and have a fair amount of experience dealing with anomalous hostiles. If you don't mind, I'd like to join you. Glitch has joined the team. I do mind. No, we're good. There can be new findings when the investigation progresses this far. What's this here? An event. Exp so these both expire in a turn. I've not seen what an event is yet. I, I was I figured as much. Search to get 70 of this, I assume, but a random team member loses 4 HP. Sure. I'm that kind of guy. Expiring. Oh, it's not gone, though. It is interesting how, like, the initial perspective shift changes, but this there's some weirdness in the perspective with things that are already on the map, like the oil barrels or that. Oh, my lord. So you're going to attack... That's a single attack. You're going for a heal. That was always going to be a problem. If I go here, I can get a double attack on the, the healer thing, theoretically. Let me see. A temporary skill that stuns enemies, if you pick it up. Throw stone. Ooh, you have a... Okay, you have a long-range gun for that. I could stand by, and then we could go for a wham, 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 wham. But I feel like we... We take the one damage hit here. So we can get the co-op action. Hammer smash. Do we want to knock back the target, really? Not necessarily. Do you have a gun? Oh, knockback in this is... Gotcha. That helps. Understood. I think you're good there. Hmm. We should be able to move. Attack. Okay. Truthfully, you should probably go. Extreme overkill. While we're on the same tile, we could get lucky. All right, you move through. I'm assuming we don't get the co- Well, do we get the co-op? We do. How's this not a crowded tile? That beats the hell out of me. It's cost effective to save your energy for when you're going to get the co-op attacks. I really like that mechanic. Gain one AP when standing, oh, starting your turn on a wet grid. A rare item increases active abnormality slots, can be used outside of combat. Increase bounce rate of an electric arc. Bounce on the same target if there's no other within range. Huh. It's a passive thing that's not very relevant. I'll get this because maybe it'll become useful. Sounds like the kind of thing that would be nice in a bit. Recover six armor, gain a stack of parry, greatly reduce... Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Give me a number. Give me a number in a tactics game. Don't tell me greatly reduce. I'm going to confirm so we can figure out what it means because I'm curious. Charge the target, cause eight damage. If it's your first move, the AP and MP cost minus one. Wait, really? Seems hard to believe. Is there a um, like advanced 
That is the detailed description. Combat conversation, you can have it be never. Auto in turn. Yeah, I was gonna say, I have it at 120. It doesn't necessarily, I'll say, doesn't fully feel like that sometimes. It's an elite, expires in two turns. So we should move here first, I guess. So yeah, like the way that the perspective shifts is a little funny there. So I can't charge at you, why? Because it has to be three tiles away or more. You're not even going to hit me. Stand by. Stand by. Probably should, like, rest on the first turn usually, but... Actually, we'll try for charge. I'll see what's up. So I can't, I can't charge to that spot. We could run back and then probably theoretically charge. Okay, yeah, you can, okay. Confirmed. Which one is which? This one is this one. So if this doesn't kill... Okay, which we got lucky. I think we... Sure. Plus parry. Yeah, we can't even charge there. We rest. An extra doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Don't love the charge. Oh, shoot. Overcharge happens when you gain more AP with max out pool. Pros and cons, so take caution. Gotcha. I was not expecting that. Oh, I can't move through you. I was not expecting that. That counts for a co-op action. It's good to know as well. What are the pros? What are the cons? Doesn't matter. Whoop. Bonk. I think I'll take another slash here. Oh, God. Just in case we'll move here, but let me guess you're going to move forward. It's going to make everything annoying. Yep. Should I charge? Can I charge? I can. A little wacky. It's not super point effective, but I will just use a one single attack. Should only knock you back one. All right. Easy enough. Bye, nerd. A chance to gain a movement point when you use skills grants you an undo chance. Mind and strength up. Get heat wave. Deal two damage to targets within range. Nearby, basically. Additional burn damage if it has burning. This does sound nice. Cheetah syrup. Of course. Carrying unused. Yep. Abnormality containers. They expand your equipment slots. 
I understand. I don't really know what I would want to use it on quite yet. As far as movement goes, it feels like it's more important for you, since you have ways to generate more armor. Double check, make sure we don't have anything else. Okay. Assume so. I don't know. Does this use a turn? A wounded physician's guard. Okay, hello. Have we met before? Stray appears somewhat puzzled. If memory serves, they should never have met before. Sorry, must have mistaken you for somebody else. My name's Mira, local physician, and you are... Stray introduces the current situation, explains the purpose of being there. You're heading there, too. What was that vision I had just now? If you don't mind, I'd like to come with you. I mean, yeah. Mira's level two. So we get three on the team. I definitely... Yeah, let's get healing shot. I didn't use it before. That doesn't mean I'm not interested. I don't think I want to... That pop-up, that's going to bother me. I don't know whose inventory space I'd want to increase yet, so I don't want... Don't... Just, just shut up. Don't don't worry about it. Why is it... Don't, don't flash. I know. Okay. What happened over there? Hostiles ending a turn on this grid, recover HP. Teammates ending here, lose HP, and then remove this grid status. Enerston. Okay, so you are able to co-op that because of... What? Also, do you have passives? Do you have, like, free passives because of your class or what? Don't think so. Seems like a dangerous spot. Let's do it. So I move here, I would take that hit. Which is probably for the better. Do I know how much damage you do? Nine. It says it's one sword, so it says it's just one target. I feel like we can stand by and generate some points. I feel like we should get off the poison. <laughs> I don't know. Figured as much, so yeah, you healed up, but that doesn't really matter that much. You might co-op attack. Yeah, you do. Good, that helps. This says it's safe, so maybe I can move here, get another co-op attack, or maybe even, like... Maybe even we go for two. And then we move back. Whether or not I am actually safe here seems... No, okay. I was going to say seems unlikely. I'm glad that it's true. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. I will go for the shield up so we can get a little bit of our shield back. We get that parry. It only lasts for a little bit, but I think it's still worth it. All right, yeah, this is the slightly awkward thing. Ooh, we would take poison on that tile anyways. You're doing six damage. Alrighty then. I'll give you a little healing. I'll save the anesthetic for a bit. So we're, yeah, we're gonna be taking we we take that regardless. A shame. A big crying shame. This poison's pretty annoying. 
So they won't go away unless I stand on it. And take the damage. I mean, I guess I could. You have some kind of shielding on you, too? I... Ay, ay, ay. Wanted to go for this guy. The Zeke plus one. All teammates gain rejuvenation at the start of the combat. This is a rough situation. We could slash and then charge attack. It would go up to one and one. If I charge attack first, I mean, it is free. It's a free attack there, but then he can just easily move to another spot. We save that energy. We're going to be getting a little bit of a problem here. Ooh, that actually worked pretty well. It worked well in a way and bad in a way. Do I get a co-op attack? No, it has to be where we start. Chance for the kill. Oh! Rude as hell. Dude. So since there's three on there, she can't move there? Okay, yeah, that's what it was. We can stand on it, it's fine. Okay, helpful. Oh, there's poison on this tile? There's poison on every tile. I guess what I'll figure out is if I move back here, does this do three damage to me? It did two. Oh, Lord. Getting as many co-op hits in for, like, ones sounds nice. This should be good. You take extra damage on the next hits. And then why don't you move it? You can't move in because he's large. Gotcha. No. Oh, okay. I thought it was another enemy. We're fine. Perfect. We're leaving this fight with more health than we started. Briefly gain Fearless if you've moved at least three grids within this turn. Huh. Damage to adjacent units plus 15% until the beginning of next turn. That's not bad. Deals seven damage to targets and trigger electric arc. So that's what that other passive would have been for. Eh. Seems good. For, uh, for glitch. It's whirlwind. Sure. Then have a reroll, anyways. So we can't upgrade that slot. And we only have one active total, anyways. This is about to expire. What's going on here? Recover HP. Don't need it. Something with considerable power. We'll go for the shot first, of course, then, since it's expiring. Force coil. Co op call range plus one. I like the thought of that. Increase your passive slots. How many? How much? We got a lot of money. All right. If I leave, is it one of those ones where I can come back? No. Doesn't matter. Who do I put the co-op call range on? Probably makes the most sense for you. Since I want you back further. Well, but at the same time... Oh, you have all this... You have all that stuff anyways. Yeah, that stuff makes more sense for you. Mind and tech, I would imagine, is going to be for you. Tech. Mind. Yeah, some helpful stuff. Nine damage targets within the range and a trigger electric arc. I mean, sure. Seems helpful. Pretty powerful thing. Bring random factors into this chapter. I don't know what that means. Get I don't really care about balance. I don't know what this means. Keep going. At each co-op you call increases the damage of all participants in the next co-op attack by one resets when the turn end. I mean, that seems really good.
Is co-op call range where the call range for others or for you? Because we could, um... Because you're a really good co-op call. I wish we got that passive, because, yeah, I would like another one there. Each co-op you call. I don't love that for you, actually. I guess we'll do this. Because she's a really good co-op caller, because she increases the damage they take uh, via, via anesthetic shot. She's a, therefore a really good co-op caller. Designated members, max armor up, but max health down one. Sure. Seems good, man. Seems good, man. I'm gonna rest. So what exactly? This it can hit one person and then triggers targets within range of said target. It can bounce. 100% bounces on wet targets up to three times. Eh. Pop that for now. A little overkill. I think that's fine. Whoop. Does this count as hitting... Okay, so I can't hit the... Uh, you. That helps. It's good to know. We can definitely just murder. As far as this goes... I think we'll just take all those. Goes to the, the fact that it goes to the armor, the poison, is really, really nice. You only are attacking the target you're on. Interesting. We can actually test the co-op call range thing here. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. But you won't get co-op called from there. Huh. Alright. Well, we should be fine. You'll do your sad, sad little thing. I guess I'll just kill you. I guess I'll just kill you now. No sense. We also get a flanking bonus. It's nice. Tech up. Max armor up. Big boss? Is that tremor just now? Got a bad feeling about this. Stay alert. Enemy could attack at any moment. Uh, shield bash. We might as well. Damage to all targets within range and knock them back. Yes. First move, restore four armor for your friendly units in the same grid as you. Gain an AP. Cost movement. That's pretty good.
co-op call range plus one. I guess I thought you would have uh, been called when Glitch did the AoE attack then. But I guess, you know, whatever, whatever. Fine. What does that mean? Dynamics of battle have slightly shifted. Factor. It's just more of these. So that's kind of like um like that monster train system, I'm guessing. Of what is it, the last divinity DLC where you just take shards that make things a lot stronger, but it also makes things tougher and crazier. Cool if true. I do think it's a good like it's a good system. This seems really cost effective. Even without that extra. Oh boy. Movie here. Co op call or anything. I could just get like all of that extra boost right now. Valiant charge is fine. I could move forward, attack, and attack, and I could probably kill one. Uses an extra point, but it gets it out of the way. Okay, you safe back there? You are safe back there. Makes some sense. So you can co-op -ta co attack from there. Oh! I can't move back because you are too... Gotcha. You are too thick. You are just far too dummy thick. Move you here so you'll take the damage instead, I guess. One movement point to gain AP. So yeah, you. neither of these are AoEs. So that's just fine for now. You can knock enemies back. It's something. Let's see. So your co-op call range... Okay, so it is what is that. Okay, so we want to put the co-op call on her then. All right. I didn't know if it was their range that they get pulled in or the range that they pull in others. Gotcha. So we now now we do know. I do think we want to stay here though. Can we shield up twice? No. So this is just we took a lot less damage because of the parry. That one we still took a pretty hefty amount. Helpful. Oh, should have backed up. Still can. Would have been helpful, though. Because you'll help attack there. We end it up. Oh, that's so freaking good. We should have just saved it for that. Or we could have even... Um, we got to remember, we can use our movement points to get an extra energy. We could have done another attack. Here's the sneaky little thing. It's not going to matter. That's, that's my my secret. Max armor plus five. Armor recycle. Recover 20. Ooh. That's a... Oh, it's that makes sense. It's a tier three. No freaking wonder. Okay, so this also... We want that on you. Perfect. Still nobody has... Whatever. We're going to be probably done after this one, so... Let's just do it.
Do we get to actually fight the boss? What on earth is that thing? Attack strike. Bet it's been infected by the fungi. Stay sharp. It spotted us. Must be the exit. Guard exits guardian entity. Let's engage it. Okay. Physique plus one. It's just. It's just large. Um, we we'll want to move through this, I think. Because if we move one and we stand on it, then the others can't even move through it. Alright. Oh no, you son of a so-and-so! I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have done it that way, but oh well. Because now we're in that awkward spot where it would have been nicer for him to... Oh well. Alright, so we're going to go for the... Oh! Oh! You're too big for me to shoot? Too close for me to shoot? Ooh, if I move here, we got a problem. We're gonna be taking that 13 to the face. This was unexpected. Yeah, because there's too many on there. I still get you to attack. I can push the rock. No, I can't. Oh, no, man. Can't enter that tile. Sure. Maybe we do like a little bit of a smack. Get this out of the way so that you can come over. We'll also just kill it. Stand by. Oh boy. This is awkward. This is not what I want. Lol. Got it. So now maybe he'll... Well, he can't move over because of the rock. He can't move over because of the rock. But he's crammed. All right, we gotta go ham now. Oh, he fell over. I mean, that's a hell of a lot. It's a little wild, but we do more damage the more of these we do. I mean, that's like half their health in one big kaboom. Bonus damage because crammed. We need to get rid of some of these. Shoot. Does he take damage because he's crammed? Minus crammed. How much? What's cram damage? How, what's your cram damage? I took like four. I'll move back. Okay. All right. All right. We should be. We should be moving anyways. So we have your help. It does say we'll get her help. Swirlwind should be pretty useful. You only attack the most, the closest one, and it was that rock. Uh, okay. 
crowded, not cramped. Yeah, it looks like maybe it's certain... Um, let's get some energy back. Some er, certain thresholds. He summoned these extras. Sure. Swirlwind feels like it makes sense. Can't even enter that space. Oof. Unless perhaps... Oh, okay. If I get a crit, that'll help. I can move on to, I can move on to the space of the big boy, I suppose. Open up a little bit of room. Oh, boy. It's fine. We won't be able to get it all the way up there. So that's like... That's the downside there, of course. That's not what I was hoping. 10 damage to targets within the range and trigger electric arc. That feels like it could bounce to us is the concern I have. Just move here for now. We'll save up a little bit of energy. Shield bash could be okay. It could also cause some problems depending on if this will knock into me or not. We'll find out. It cannot. Great info. Hammer smash, shield up. I'll get a parry. Just in case he doesn't do an AoE, but I'm pretty sure he's going to do an AoE on account of the fact that he says he's going to do an AoE. But who knows? Maybe he's lying. I assumed as much. Stockpile. It's a little bit awkward. We'll overflow a little bit too much otherwise, so. I could charge attack. Then we have to run back out. We'd have to get lucky. really want to gain an extra AP just in case I don't know about that overflow yet you come here oh you idiot man you big dumb idiot man you big dumb idiot man with all these co-ops I mean I know it's like it gets a little bit crazy it's, I don't even think it's cost-effective But we know we break him down like that, so it's worth healing shots. We are crammed because he spammed, summoned the man. Let's just go for it. We can probably just get the kill. Uh, if we're willing to take a cram damage, which I am, then we can probably just kill. On your turn. Yes, sir. So we have the slash and then we have the AoE. If you don't die right here, which you just do. You just die right there. Pretty peasy. Tendon squirrel? I don't like the sound of that. Passive electric arc bounce distance plus two. Damage up by 50% with each bounce. That's terrifying. I'm assuming it can only hit enemies at this point. Otherwise, that seems so bad. Damage to all targets within range. Grant them slow for a turn. Increase range and damage for each grid displaced. Seems super good, but I do think we are probably done so. There might be more in the demo, but... Look, the fungi have dissipated. At last, we can leave Old Town. Next stop, the Ring Expressway. Let's go. Is there any more in the demo? My assumption would be no. Yeah. We've done it! You saved a pistol on... Nope, just a very limited part of it. I really liked it. I really, really liked it. I'm tabbed out. I know that... Oh, wow. That janked it up more than I thought it would. Uh, I really enjoyed it. 
all kinds of new content, learnable traits. Cool. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff here. I really, I really, 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 really liked it. I don't know. I just, I love this take on a turn-based tactics. I like the, the kind of, um, when you're going roguelike style and you got some, like, you got randomness kind of in the mix a little bit more than normal for a turn-based tactics game. I think that stripping it down to a, uh, one call or one row instead of a row and all the columns, I think it does really help a lot with certain elements in kind of the roguelike interpretation of it, especially with, uh, with movements and things of that nature. Seems like a lot of people are catching on. Seems like a lot of people are really going for it. And hey, I am here for this wave of, I don't know, row-based, turn-based tactics roguelikes. I think this is a really good one. I, I didn't know what to expect from it, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, even the art style, you know, kind of grew on me. Am I usually a fan of, you know? anthropomorphized animals it's pretty hit or miss i i love animals i i think anthropomorphized animals are usually not my jam it kind of you know i think it i think it's nice i think it's nice i like the colors they use i think there's some really cool stuff they're doing i really like it i'm excited for more when we play more it's hard to say these games usually have extremely long run times so whether or not i play more it's probably going to come down exclusively to that to be honest but last, last, that's that. That's going to do it for today for Anomaly Collapse. My name is Retromation. You cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel you should most definitely be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.